well, tonight's the night of the big show, three generation show. We're here at the museum, the Midwest Museum of American Art in Elkhart, Indiana. And I'd like to introduce Rick Burns, who is our friend and collector of Kim's work for quite a few years. And um, I'd like Rick to say a little bit about the show. Well, I think the show I've been collecting Western photography for about almost 20 years, and uh, I've got to know the work of the Edward, Brett, and Kim, and I'm so honored to have the Westons here in Elkhart visiting us and um, sharing their time with us and enjoying the show and helping us kick off the show that's running through October 6th at the Midwest Museum, and thank you so much for coming. Well, oh, you're welcome. So if anybody is in this area, I hope you're going to come see the show. I haven't seen it yet, and so I am like so excited. Kim already saw it. There's over a hundred photographs. Oh my God, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gina on the spot. Thank you. Gina on the spot. Stay tuned. You have any questions? There may be a test because Kim passed with flying colors. And I've interrelated things throughout, and uh, so it starts with the Ansel Adams photograph of Edward West. Mm -hmm. And Kim said, "Oh, that tree's still there," and that was thrilling to me. And then two Doty Westons, one of Edward West, and then the ruins of Rylight in the bottom, and then your mailbox at Wild Cat Hill, and then the two, our two classic in Rick's collection, the shells and the cabinet. That's, you know, that's sort of standing for the Nautilus and the Pepper. And uh -huh. then Kim's piece of Edward's favorite uh -huh. piece of Mexican folk art, the fish gourd. Uh -huh. And then I, I sampled Brett Weston's portfolios, although I put the entire ten images of portraits of my father, including the front of shoot in. And then Kim's five of the Lake Pals are here in one of the platinum prints. So here's the Newton cactus. Alongside Uncle Brett.